Democrats reportedly tried to get dirt on Trump from the Ukrainian government asking for Paul Manafort to be investigated. And of course, the big one, Hillary Clinton, paying British and Russian government sources for dirt on Trump. Now, there's no doubt President Trump talked about investigating Joe Biden with the Ukrainian president. The Democrats in the establishment are resting their case on the words, I would like you to do us a favor. And here we come to the central, astonishing, brazen dishonesty of the Democrats and every journalist who claims there's something here on foreign interference. Let's read together the transcript of the call. Quote, I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server. They say Ukraine has it. There are things that went on, the whole situation. When President Trump asked for a favor, he's not asking about Biden, but allegations that Ukraine was somehow involved in 2016 election hacking. When he asked for a favor, President Trump was not asking for future foreign meddling. He was asking about past foreign meddling. Again, as the Wall Street Journal noted, quote, there is nothing wrong with asking a foreign head of state to investigate meddling in U.S. elections. Later in the call, the conversation turns to Rudy Giuliani and allegations of wrongdoing by Joe and Hunter Biden. President Trump does indeed encourage the Ukrainian president to pursue these. But guess who brings it up? No, not President Trump, but President Zelensky. He's the one that instigates their back and forth about the Biden situation by bringing up Giuliani. You can argue that the president might have been wiser to respond by saying, you know what, that's getting into a political matter and we probably shouldn't talk about it. But the idea that this call and the so-called whistleblower complaint about it is evidence that President Trump abused his office for personal gain, called a world leader to ask him to get dirt on his opponent, meddle in our election and used American military aid as leverage to make him do it, is a joke, a complete joke. But now we have evidence that it's a joke. The fact that the Democrats and their media co-conspirators are already moving away from it as the basis for impeachment. Remember how they dropped collusion and switched to obstruction? It's happening again. They know there's no case on the quid pro quo or the foreign interference, so guess what? Now it's cover up. The anti-Trump bureaucrat activist, sorry, whistleblower, revealed that White House officials put the Ukraine transcript in a computer system designed for national security secrets, not run-of-the-mill diplomatic calls. Like sheep, they recite the cliche, it's the cover up that gets you, not the crime. Are they serious? First, as we've shown you, there was no crime. Second, don't they remember that shockingly, some of President Trump's early phone calls with world leaders were leaked? Why should anyone be surprised if the president's calls are made extra secure after that? But finally, the most obvious idiocy of the cover-up claim, the White House published the damn call proactively. Before any subpoena or legal process, they voluntarily published the whole thing. Some cover-up.